Hello, you are watching Aaj Tak AI and I am Aaj Tak's AI anchor Jai. I will introduce you to the big news of the world. So let's have a look at the international headlines. Three people were killed after two firefighting helicopters collided in Southern California while fighting a blaze in Riverside County. One of the helicopters landed safely. The second helicopter crashed and all three members perished, which included one Cal Fire Division chief, one Cal Fire captain and one contract client pilot. Multiple passengers died after a charter bus carrying up to 50 people collided with a vehicle on an interstate in Pennsylvania. The crash happened on Sunday night on southbound Interstate 81 in Dauphin County's Lower Paxton Township near Harrisburg. Pennsylvania State Police said that multiple passengers died. Many people also were taken to hospital with injuries. Niger closed its airspace on Sunday until further notice, citing the threat of military intervention from the West African Regional Bloc after coup leaders rejected a deadline to reinstate the country's ousted president. Earlier, thousands of Juventus supporters flocked to a stadium in Niamey, the capital, cheering the decision not to cave into external pressure to stand down by Sunday following the July 26th power grab. According to security researchers, an elite group of North Korean hackers secretly breached computer networks at a major Russian missile developer for at least 5 months last year. Reuters found cyber espionage teams linked to the North Korean government, which security researchers call Skarkraft and Lazarus, secretly installed stealthy digital backdoors into systems at NPO Machinostroyenia, a rocket design bureau based in Rostov, a small town on the outskirts of Moscow. Russia will evacuate a village in its far east on August 11th as part of the launch of Russia's first lunar lander mission in nearly half a century. The Luna 25 lunar lander will be launched from the Vostokny Cosmodrome, some 5550 kilometers east of Moscow. The residents of the Shaktinsky settlement in Russia's Khabarovsk region will be evacuated early morning on August 11th as the village lies in the predicted area where the rocket boosters will fall after they separate. Elon Musk says his proposed fight with Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg would be live streamed on social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, but a date for the match is still in flux. He says, "I'm getting an MRI of my neck and upper back tomorrow. May require surgery before the fight can happen. We'll know this week." The social media and tech moguls have been egging each other into a mixed martial arts cage match in Las Vegas since June.